Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. Today, oh actually, we need to do some more work and get back and get some pumps going. So we need to make a pump and we need some water. So, Because last time, if you remember rightly, I filled up, managed to fill up the, the water tank with some stone. So let's just put those two buckets of water back down in here. That corner and this corner should be fine. So this should now have plenty of oxygen, which has got too much. We have to dump the rest of it. In fact, and this one over here is getting enough power now to be running and generating hydrogen. And it's actually producing hydrogen this time. And it's burning it slowly. But we should start to see it coming in. This VR our look, there's a little grey line there. So the next thing I want to do is to automate the filling of the water into this. So we'll use a pump. So a mechanism has a pump. And it's quite a good pump, actually. If I can see it, it's this one. But he did tell me the statistics there. What does it say? Inventory. Control Shift and M for information. Oh, it doesn't really tell me very much. So we need another steel casing. So that's four more glass, Osbin and steel ingots. We've got steel ingots now. Osbin we've got plenty of glass. We've got enough of, so we should be able to make at least two of these. In fact, I would like to make two because we also would like to make an energy cell. And if I remember rightly, the energy cell. So let's get on with this one. Uh, yes, we can do that. Good two. Back to this one. What are we short of? Three osmin and two enriched alloys. I think we got those somewhere. Yes, we got plenty. Look. That should have twin. That's got ninety. That's nine redstone for that. And I got okay. That's fine. Let's go back to making this pump here. I'm missing the Osmin ingots, didn't pick those up. Three. And again, this time we can do it. So one pump. That's an advanced pressure tubing, that's for gas. It's a universal cable. If I'm lucky, I should simply be able to put this pump onto here like that and it should pump water in but it also needs power and I think the power comes in from the top so let's just put some power down here no fluid yet no power through oh, it doesn't connect to the top how about the side here so that's the way ah I've got that wrong it works the other way so I have to break this block out of the way and I'm going to make, put some glass down here. No, I'm not. I'm going to remove the lava. I don't want things falling into the lava for a second or two. So let's just break this one. All right, that's come to me. And the pump. So the power for the pump is this side here. So I have to put the pump down in the right direction. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the direction we need to put it in. Now I'll try it on it first of all, see if it works. So come back here and put the pump down here. Yes. So now the pump is now full, filling up with water. So the output of the water, oh damn. Uh, yes, that might work. So I need some liquid tubes. So how will we do those? What do we have in here? Pressurized tubes. They're a bit dark to see in this background. Let's see if I can find a better background. Advanced mechanical tubes. Ultimate logistic pipes. I think it's just the restrictive transport. I think it's just the basic mechanical pipes. So that's two steel in the bucket. Yeah, that sounds good because it's a bucket, therefore it's liquid. 
So let's quickly make another bucket, and we've got two steel, I think. Yes, we've got plenty of steel. But it needs to connect to the top, so that should be okay. Let's try connecting this to the top. See, that fills in, and I think this fills into there. So that is now filling it with water. So now the pump is getting power from the from the generator here. In fact, I'm tempted not to put the lava back on here. To be dead honest with you, at least for the time being. But the first thing we'll do now is to produce the next item. It's an energy cell. that will at least store the energy so when we could use the lava pump for that uh, the heat generator for that so let's have a look so is this one basic in the mm. oh, it's actually a cube not a cell so we need these energy tablets now do we have enough information on that we need two of these I can do four that's good Actually, I wonder if that works with control shift it does. And we need this, we've got the steel cating, we might have everything we need for that, which we do. Fantastic. So now let's put this somewhere where it's going to get power. Let's try putting it say here. So that's now going to start storing up energy. should be very good so how are things moving along so there's no power coming from the back I don't think so if I can get to the back to check the heat generator yeah this is completely empty and if I do put the bucket of lava on here is a problem with it let's have a look it'll just generate heat very slowly And we can always take the bucket of lava away again. So this thing it still hasn't got any hydrogen. It's still not been producing enough hydrogen quickly enough from the electrolytic separator. I thought I was dumping the excess. That's right, it is. And this isn't getting really enough power. Hmm. Ah, but it'll cause all the power will be going into here. So when this is filled, this will be getting enough power. So hopefully. I wonder if I can turn that off. Will that I can move it quite safely. Mm, okay, we'll see what happens. So the next thing we need to do is to make a crusher. Because we need to make a crusher and a purification chamber. So, we, it's the same with the other ones, by the way. One crusher, one crusher factory, which is basically that, and a crusher. So we need another steel casing with two buckets of lava. Now, lava. I wonder, there's plenty of lava about. We'll go and get two buckets of lava first, I think. I don't have any production methods for lava, but there's plenty of lava in the mines. Let's get my food into the middle slot. And eat while I'm walking down the stairs. But you can hear lava, no, but I think the first stop on this one, shift into that, press the button and press W to go forward. No, oops. Oh, yes. Didn't really want to do that. I hit my head on this thing. But there's some, I think the lava's in the next one. But we can walk along here just as easily. Oops, done that twice now. <laughs> in my head or nothing. Right, there's lava in here. So can I get the lava out of here? Right, buckets. One, 
Yes, we can. No problem. And two, I think. That's good. I'll move my, make sure I haven't got my finger on that one, just in case. I'm just shift and let's go back in. Actually, I could have gone to the end. It's fun travelling in a minecart. The fact I could actually move this powered rail a little bit further forward, but we'll do that another time, maybe off camera. And eat because I kept bashing my head on those uh, getting out of the minecart. So we were making a crusher, weren't we? So we need the steel chest. I so it is one of the meninga. Okay, good. That's fine. So doing the pre-work does sort of help. Uh-huh. So I can now make one of those. And we're obviously going to make a lot of and need a lot of these. In fact, we've only got six steel ingots left now. We've got some basic control circuits, which in fact should also be in here too. Yeah, that's now empty. In fact, I think we have everything we need, so we can make a crusher. Oops. Oh, so of course the buckets of lava get put back. So I suppose the next place is to put the crusher beside here. I'm thinking about this because I'm not 100% sure, because I need the purification chamber. Now this will very slowly get some power in it. And what we need the crusher for is to crush the residue from the enrichment chamber. Mm -hmm. Now the enrichment, no, sorry, purification chamber. We need to make a purification chamber too. But I think we're going to have a little power problem. This thing doing plenty of water, so I don't need to worry about the pump. Plenty of oxygen. Now, can we make a tank? Let's have a look. Because the mechanism has tanks as well. And we want basically a gas tank, empty gas tank. That's fairly straightforward. We can make one of these. We just need two more redstone. In fact, we'll make two of these, I think. One for hydrogen and one for oxygen. If I press shift and click on that, by the way, it does two sets. If I just click it, it does one. So what we can now do is we can take this here. Ah, oh, I can't reach this because I've got this in the way. Well, I won't want to put this behind for the time being, so let's just quickly move these out of the way. And of course get the bucket of lava out the back there, just in case things fly into it. So, that's gone good. I'm not sure if you lose energy when you break things in mechanism. Some mods you do, some mods you don't. I should want that one on there, don't I? Because all I want to do here is to put the tank on this side here, because that's where the oxygen's coming out. Let's do that. And I think it'll just go straight into here, but I'm not 100% sure. It's got some oxygen, so this thing, therefore, has dumped it all good. So now, all we need to do is to put back this mechanical pipe here, so we can put the pump on the other corner. And if I remember rightly, we need some power for that. Now, can we get to this or not? That's the question. Certainly not from here. All right, I have to break this again. I can't get out of there either, can I? But that should be, a, mm, will be a problem actually. Let's have to think about this. Let's break this piece of cobblestone. And I still need a way out of here. That should do, shouldn't it? Yes. Right, so now I can put the pump 
back here. That should then be getting power. She's got power. They probably have kept the power from before. And the water is full, so that's no problem. Now, can I get out of here somehow or other? I should be able to get up here, shouldn't I? Yes. And then from there. Oh well. A bit more difficult. Let's put a piece of wood down here on this oxygen tank and then walk across that. And I can't because that's not high enough. Let's just make this higher. Challenges. Stand on the pipe, then I can break the water. I would, I mean. And that falls in there. Brilliant. Okay, so we can now put back the stone. Why do I need to put the stone down? Just here, wasn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's put the wood down here. That'll fall into the water as well. Also, probably better using the cobble, I mind. And we could be able to put some cobblestone on top of that. This side, here. I hope, yep. In fact, I could leave that like that, couldn't I? And then we can put the lava back on here. And we're back in business again. So now, it's got no, well, it's getting a little bit of power. And this has got no power, it's got energy, and this thing is very slowly filling up. Okay. Maybe that's going to be a problem. I'm not sure what to do about that at the time being. Oh, I've got no pipe on here either, so let's put the pipe down here. That should simply join up. Right. So this time we're catching the oxygen. And what we can do with the oxygen is to basically feed that into the purification unit. Oh, it doesn't look like it's connected, but it must be connected. Yes, you see, it's just going up one at a time. So, right, next thing we need to make is the purification chamber. And here we go. So this one we need a purification chamber, that's what I wanted first of all. And we need an enrichment chamber and advanced control circuits. Alright, that's no problem. We need two of those. Let's have a look. I can get three. Just take two. So I probably need the other bits for the other machines. That's a factory. That has a chamber. So that's no problem, that's no problem. And this one again is this what we're we missing, two glass. Right, have we got any glass downstairs? No, I think we need to go and make some more glass. I don't think I've got any in here either, it's just cobbles it's just and it's night time by the sounds of it. Let's put those into there and have a quick sleep because the dogs are growling. I'm not sleep, yes I can. I'm not really intending to fight too many mobs at the moment. There's a zombie out there. Let's get my bow into it. And he's not too far away either. Where are they? There's some over there, but I can't see them for the time being. And there's some more over here. But I can't see them either. So let's just go and get some sand. We just need two pieces. Well, there's two down here, let's just take these two. But there's certainly no shortage of sand later on. There's a desert over here, big desert actually. What's happening to these saplings? No, it's not yet full, so we'll just put those saplings back in. It's chopping, plenty of wood. Let's take a stack of wood while we're here. Oh, we're just able to check the axis. Right, got three. I filled those up before the start of the episode. This has got two, and it's got plenty of wood in there as well. But actually the wood's going down. So what I might do is extend the range of this. If 
fact, I'll do that first. I think I have enough time. While the um, glass is smelting. Let's put those two in there. And let's go and make... Have I got some redstone with me? No, I haven't. Right, I'll have to go down and get some redstone. I do the dogs will sort out the um I'll make take eight. That will actually give me eight. So I can have basically one stack of wood will give me eight upgrade wooden upgrades. Which will probably be enough for the um oak farm. Where is that zombie? It can't be very far away. They're over there somewhere. I'm gonna sort those out in a second, I think. Certainly the spruce farm's got plenty of upgrades in it at the moment, so let's just put all of those in that because we a range of 26. So you'll be get a lot more saplings and therefore we get a lot more wood. Oh, there's one, look at that. These are really hard, these ones. These new baby zombies are really quite difficult. Right, got him though. He got in the water so he wasn't so fast. Let's go see what he left for us. Put XP. Nothing much else. Right, back, back to business. The glass should now be ready. Good. So we've now got four. We can make the, the frame we're going to make. So we need to make this one first. So we've got one energy frame, one machine frame. Steel casing in this case, it's called, isn't it? So we're missing redstone from that. Oh, I need to put plenty of redstone here. Let's take it all out. That one. Are we missing something else as well? What were we missing? One enriched alloy. So that's just a few bits of how we can do that. Crusher. We'll just do uh, wrong ones, right? It's the metallurgic infuser. We only need one of these, but we need eight iron for that, so. Let's halve that and halve that again. I'll put one of those away. I'll just sort our inventory. So, what do we need now? It's just that one. Okay. Let's get that produced. Look at the right machine. There we go. So now we can make the purification chamber. Bingo. So I'm going to put this beside the crusher here. And of course, it needs power. I've got one basic universal cable left, which is the only one I need for this time, I think. Now, we need more power at the moment because we aren't getting enough. So let's just remove this thing here because it's taking all the power. So we want to remove it. Now that then should actually give enough power for the other machines, but it looks as though it's still a bit too slow. So let's get that heat generator working again. Coal. Take another four of those. Because you can hear it's sort of making a silly sort of noise. Move that out of the way. Click on that and put the coal in there. So now things are actually moving through fine. And this is now getting power in it. This is now getting power in it. The enrichment chamber is full and the metallurgic infuser has not got enough power yet, but it's producing power. The heat generator is getting hydrogen. Still not enough, fast enough. I'm just wondering. 
it would actually be a good idea to get another one of these rotary condensers a rotary condenser is it? electrolytic separator, ok wait it's wrong so let's get another electrolytic separator while we're, while we're this is all running because it's not producing enough hydrogen hopefully yes it was one of these ok we can do this I think we need these first of all got one that's good and now we're just missing one more of these I'm gonna to have to do some more work I'm sure of it but anyway I was thinking about this so let's have a look right we can have one more electrolytic separator here the idea is now we're gonna put this one down but I'm gonna put it down the other direction so this produces hydrogen on the left and oxygen on the right. So here's the idea. If I put this down here, it needs water. That's no problem. We've got plenty of water now coming in. I think that's all mechanical pipes. It's got power coming from here. So that should now be producing hydrogen as well. And the oxygen is coming out here. I'm going to feed into the enrichment chamber that's wrong as well isn't it purification chamber I'm going to feed that into here because this needs oxygen so we need pressurized gas for that one let's have a look we need gas tubes where are they pressure here we go, basic pressurised tubes, one glass and two steel ingots. I haven't got any more glass. Great. So, it's probably night time again. Yes, it, mm, no, it's not good. Right, can we quickly? It's coming towards evening. You can see the sun's going down. It's quite useful having the sun in the viewpoint as it happens as well, because you can see what's going on. Let's come up here and take this top. I don't know my dogs don't know what he's doing over there, but never mind. We'll just take this pack of all the the, uh, the stone one. Cheap, cheerful, and I can't automate it this yet. The manufacturer of this, it would take quite a few steps. And the only automation I've got is from progressive automation for crafting. How much have I got now? 23, I'll take another one. 24, good number. And so this farm is growing a lot of these tall spruce trees. So it's still chopping it down. Yes, good. And this one. Oh, it's got plenty of power for the time being. I'm not sure what the critical number for um, upgrades on the oak is yet. It certainly hasn't been reached because it's not producing any extra wood. But the spruce is. So, sand. Let's get these into here. That will be three charcoal to make the eight sand. I've actually got some stuff in there I don't want. I've emptied out the chests. There we go. I'll keep the cobblestone with me. some gravel, some flint, I want the glass don't I for the, I mean if we got two, that's good, that'll do, we can make those tubes here actually, so just one set's fine, looks like I'm going to have to make some more um, steel as well, so now we need to get this oxygen that's coming out of here, into this machine, so I reckon we can do it from the top. Let's have a look. Now this side would be best, actually. 
Oops. I just put down the wrong things, haven't I? Never mind. Bring those up. That's the mechanical part. We want gas. That's it, the, brace, the basic pressurized tubes. Now that connects. And it connects all the way around. Now you see oxygen is flowing into here. And it's full. So what we can now do is to take... So let's take one iron here. Okay, and put that one iron into here. So that's now being pressure uh, ground as it were, purified. Power's getting used up quite fast, that's why the power is pretty important. And here we have three iron clumps. Those three iron clumps come into the crusher here and get crushed. And they produce three dirty iron. Doesn't take too long. With well, those 330 iron, what we'll do next is run out of power. Brilliant. In fact, the whole system seems to run out of power. What's going on? It really has run out of power, hasn't it? Power is a problem at the moment, so let's get some more coal and get this working again. And hopefully, over time, we'll have enough power from the heat generator. Running out of coal, or blocks of coal anyway. Put those into here. So, right. This is now running, and we'll generate power, we'll get enough power again. So, with these three dirty, uh, and you put these into the enrichment chamber here, and you will then get three iron dust which we can then smelt. So that's the process for the three times ore. Now the automation of this, let's automate this now. So here we have the configuration side view. So output is dark blue, which is sort of normal. But you can also click this button on the top here, the auto eject, and then everything in it will get automatically ejected to the right hand side, which is where we've got the enrichment chamber. On the right hand side of this, it's got nothing. So we make that dark input, which is the red one. If you look at that, it's that color there. And it's the same here, the output for that. I didn't do that. I didn't do the auto eject, eject off. It's that one. That button takes you back, of course. And the last one here is exactly the same. So we want the input coming on the side. In fact, the side and the top are both good places to have things like that. And there's no nowhere to eject it to at the moment. But of course, we could put a. Mm, I could move this out of the way. It might be a good idea. Let's do that first. Is there anything in here? No. So we can break the hopper. We can pick it up. And we'll just check this one as well. Nothing in here except for it's full of energy. Let's just break this one as well. And we'll put this at the end here now, I think. Because it's not really part of the, the sort of the factory like that and we can put the hopper on top of that again and we should really make another hopper now because we'll do that in fact we could even make two oh silly me i forgot something i forgot to make two chests That's also worked quite nice. So that was just the mouse button again. So two hoppers. And I'm going to put one of those hoppers on the purification chamber here. That's here. Shift right clicking again and one on the enrichment chamber. So now 
we can take some ore, like possibly an ore, and put that into here. That will then get purified, and the oxygen will come into here from the generator here. This is getting enough oxygen, it's just producing the hydrogen is still empty, it's not getting enough hydrogen. The crush is now working, we've got six osmium clumps in there. And as those of those get done, which we've got dirty iron dust in here, we need to move that out of the way. In fact, what we could do now is to put a chest beside it, that was my plan. Oh. Now we just all need to do now is to configure this to auto eject on the right hand side, which is done. And this should now be filling up with whatever items are coming out of pure enrichment chamber. So, that's just about it, I think. All I've got to sort out now, and I'm going to think about this, is how to get this power working better. Maybe I need to come back. This heat generator is really not getting enough hydrogen from both sides. Maybe I need to produce some more um, <laughs> electrolytic separators. In fact, that's actually full as well. So what I need to do here is probably dump the excess. And as you see, you're dumping the excess it's now producing. It doesn't dump all of it, which is great. The old version used to dump all of it. This is now only just dumping the excess. And this one's idle because it's not getting any power hydrogen. This is burning. Ah, it's starting to get a little bit of power now. So it's just about keeping up with the process. And this one is also good. So these two are now starting to actually work properly. This tank is filling up with oxygen from here. So maybe one more electrolytic separator is what I need. And I'll do that off camera and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.